What's up warriors, I've just created my first NPM package. I was using OpenAI API on a bunch of projects lately and I found it more efficient for me to just simply do npm install my package to add the functionalities that I'm using all the time. So now I'm quickly going to show you my package and its usage on one of my Next.js projects. Package is called Orkish OpenAI Connector and what it does is it brings in two methods. One is a simple completion by ChatGPT and the difference here between your online ChatGPT that you have is that you can use ChatGPT4 without the ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month. Everything you need is just your OpenAI API key. And of course, you're going to get charged for that one also, but a little bit less than if you're using ChatGPT Plus, depends on the usage. And the other method is the image creator using Dolly 3 or whatever image model you want. I'm always using Dolly 3, which is also available only with ChatGPT+. So you just put in your OpenAI API key and you use the service to get ChatGPT completion or get Dolly 3 image and it works like a charm. Logo here was created by this package. It was made by Dolly 3 and I just entered Orkish OpenAI connector. That was literally the first thing it gave me. And from the other things that you can do is you have your options. So you can basically put here your default options that you want for all of your completions and image creators. And also you can put for only a single method if you want to change something, if you want a different resolution or some different model for different methods, you can change it here. Let's see in the code how it looks. So this is the code for the package and main thing and probably the only thing we're going to look now is this class, Orkish OpenAI service. And here we have two methods and we have the default options which we are getting in the beginning. Then we have the ChatGPT completion. It's just simply connecting to the OpenAI API and returning the response. And we have the Dolly 3 image, which is doing basically the same thing, only with different response, because this one is the URL and this one is the message content. And also in the index file, we have all of our types where we have all the GPT models, temperature, image model and image resolution. And basically the easier thing here in the app when we are using the package is that we have auto completion for all of these models because uh, nobody knows like from the head all models that GPT has except maybe Dolly 2 and 3. So let's now see how it looks in one of my Next.js projects. I'm working on a Next.js app where user is going to be able to sign in to buy tokens via Stripe and then spend those tokens to get the data from Dolly 3 or ChatGPT 4. And thing is, with that AI framework, you can create a SaaS product much quicker than starting always from scratch. You can use that framework for free, it's in the description below, and while you're there, click the subscribe button, and let's see how that framework actually works. So this is the landing page of the AI framework. And first thing we have is completion, it's just a simple ChatGPT like you know from the online version, so we can put give me 10 orcish names and when we get the result, it's just giving the orcish names. It was pretty fast, I don't know why. And now we have image, which is really powerful. Currently I'm using Dolly 3 version. I'm going to show you that later in code. So if I, if I put orc warrior working on a computer, and I get an image, it's loading, it's taking now a while for the image, I hope that will be faster in future by OpenAI, and we should get a powerful orc warrior here using his axe or something on the computer. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice, okay. You see, the quality is really good, and the details, it, it's really perfect. I mean, look at those. And 
I just wanted to say a good thing about the fingers and the AI, but here fingers, I mean, he has three fingers, but I saw it's, it's a little bit better with hands and with fingers. It's not like before and the muscles and everything. It's really great. Let's see the code. So let's start from our main page and that's the page file. There we have AI selector component where we are determining what are we going to use? Is it completion or image? And based on that, we are bringing in two components, the completion component and the image component. So let's go in image, for example. And there we are getting the OpenAI image. That should be a server action. Yes. So that's a server action. And here we are actually using our package that we showed, the Orkish OpenAI connector. So here... I added the option for the resolution. And that's why it was like the square image there that, that you saw with the Orc Warrior. There is also an implementation of next auth. So user can be logged in here via Google. I'm going to show you that one quickly. So here in the app, we can go to the sign in page and we have sign in with Google where we can create our account and sign in. And based on that, we can allow users to use the OpenAI API or not. And the idea is to get them to buy tokens so they can use it. And for the end of this video, let's create an orc waving to fellow warriors goodbye. Let's see what are we going to get. And also, yes, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to go and try out the also the Orkish OpenAI connector package and also the AI framework and tell me what do you think. And here it is. Farewell, fellow warriors.